Hello again, everybody. I'm Larry Hamilton. Welcome to my YouTube painting channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're going to do a watercolor painting, and it may be a kind of a long painting in terms of what we've done before, but uh, hopefully you'll like it. Um, it's a street scene in uh, the southern coast of Italy, a town called Positano. Uh, it's in the uh, Amalfi Coast area it's called and uh, it's a very beautiful area and so I picked up a photo from a photographer named uh, Cheryl Nielsen Nelson I believe you pronounce it um, and I got it from a website on uh, pmp-art.com PMP stands for paint my photo so there's a lot of photos out there if you're looking for photos to paint um, you can go out to pmp-art.com and you'll find a lot of lot of work out there that you can use for your own uh, use and uh, there's no royalties or anything like that so anyway let me go over to my computer I want to take you through a few of the photos you see one up here I've got some nice photos to work from in this particular case but it's also very detailed it's a street scene and there's a lot of uh, windows and doors and flowers and all kinds of things in this so it's going to take a while I plan to take a break maybe at uh, two o'clock Eastern time for maybe 10 minutes just for my own uh, health and uh, <laughs> safety. And uh, so let me go over to the uh, palette now and I'll be right back. Or to the, I'm going to the uh, my computer, sorry. <clears throat> I can close my door. There. Okay, I'm over here at my computer now, and I want to show you one interesting thing that Cheryl did was she took two photos of this scene. One is the landscaped version. This is the horizontal uh, version of it. So it shows a car and a little motorcycle and a plant here in the foreground, and it shows the uh, some work over here on the right side, and uh, it's, it's a uh, nice landscape view, but it ignores the height of it. So uh, what she did was she took another one in portrait mode. So it shows the altitude, the height of the building here on the right side, cuts out a little bit of the uh, image on the left side. And so when she uh, sketched it, she paint and she did a watercolor of it in uh, uh, line and wash, um, she actually did this sketch. So out on pmpart.com, um, you have all three of these photos out there. And so this is the one I used. I actually put it through my uh, grid program. Actually, I put it through a different grid program. Um, I've been using griddrawingtool.com for many years. I have a lot of links out on my website for that and for on these videos. And I just found out this uh, last couple weeks that the griddrawingtool.com works no more. Um, it was supported by a website called arttutor.com in the UK. And I also just found out two days ago that arttutor.com is going out of business so they've stopped supporting the grid tool so you just have to search for uh, grid tools for photos and uh, there's a number of them out there I saw one I don't think any of them are as good as the one that I got from arttutor.com I've, I've communicated with them I'd like to try to get a hold of that uh, the code for that and put it on my website but I don't know if that's going to be possible but uh, anyway this is the grid that I put over it and so this was the basis for my sketch and this is my sketch and I realize you can't probably see it very well it's uh, pretty light I wanted to keep it fairly light so that I didn't have a lot of graphite on my paper when I started uh, painting so anyway that's the photos that we're going to work from and uh, I'll go back down we'll go through the paints and brushes and get started on this hang on Okay, I'm back here at my easel now, and uh, this is the setup I have. This is my Sterling Edwards uh, painting palette, big brush painting palette, they call it. Um, I got some bristle brushes that uh, I use for blending and putting on water with. I have a couple of flats. I have a one inch flat and a half inch flat. And I have three, four rounds here. I have a 12, number, number 12, number eight, number four, and I have a script liner with the long bristles. I don't know how many of those brushes I'll use. Um, I'm gonna use some of them, but I don't know how many. Um, and uh, so let me go around the paints and tell you what they are again. These are Holbein transparent watercolors. A Japanese uh, watercolor company makes these very beautiful transparent color colors. So here we have in the palette going dark to light, warm, cool to warm. This is Payne's Gray, 
cobalt blue, ultramarine deep blue, Prussian blue, permanent violet, hooker's green, umber, burnt sienna, quinacridone scarlet, bright rose, brilliant orange, quinacridone gold, permanent yellow deep, and cad lemon yellow so that's the colors we have to work with and uh, i'm going to get my uh, palette now situated and get my camera zoomed in so you can see mostly see this painting i don't want you to see me uh, but i'm going to try to get it it's, since it's portrait it's going to be just a little bit uh, i have to keep it a little wider than i would typically like to uh, but i'll try to get myself out of the picture as much as possible i do have a couple other cameras also uh, have a little chat window here that you can use if uh, if you uh, want to talk to me online I have a uh, computer up here by my elbow and I will be looking at it periodically to see if anybody's chatting and if you have a question just shout it out and I'll uh, see if I can answer it okay we're going to start with I I didn't show you I should have well I showed the picture this is the one here on the right side up here which is the uh, uh, portrait version of it and over here on my left side I've got a, a uh, didn't show you that, but I've got my uh, the sketch here on the left. Uh, this is Cheryl Nelson Nielsen's sketch, and the uh, the wide version, the landscape version of the photograph. So I've got those two to work from, so that when I'm painting down here around the car and some of these areas that are missed uh, in the in the portrait sketch uh, painting uh, photo, sorry, um, that I can get those. And then when I want to paint the tops, I'll be looking at this uh, photo over here on the right. Um, she combined them very nicely in this uh, sketch and uh, uh, she did a good job of it even though she had two photos that were uh, not not exactly meant to be put together so anyway that's the uh, that's what we got to work from and uh, like I say it's going to take a little bit of time um, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to start my timer here so I can keep track of the clock all right we're going all right so so in about an hour or so, I'm going to try to take a break uh, just to uh, relax my voice and hopefully uh, uh, get some water and that sort of thing. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a little bit of water on top of this thing in some spots. I'm not going to wet the whole thing down, but I am going to put a little bit of water up here where the sky is going to go. Um, the sky, if you ever look up the Malfi Coast on the... Google, Google search, uh, you'll find that it has a lot of beautiful building street scenes. Um, Positano, this little town that's this was painted from, a street scene this was painted from, um, is about 75 miles south of Naples in Italy. Um, so it's a uh, nice area. There's a lot of beautiful streets like this that are uh, really um, Nice to walk down. I have a lot of shops and places in the, along the Malfi Coast. They have a lot of beaches and cliffs and all kind of things that are very nice to uh, visit and uh, enjoy. So I'm just wetting now the side of the building here on the right side and my sky. And with that done, I'm going to come back now and get some of this, uh, my uh, cobalt blue, I think, for the sky. Um, it's a pretty potent blue color. But when I put it on my paper that's wet already, um, I will uh, thin it down quite a bit. I hope you're able to hear the uh, audio here. I uh, had some problems getting my uh, broadcast system working here today for some reason. It. Uh, one computer that I've been using for quite a while to do the broadcasting with decided it didn't like my <laughs> streaming input for whatever reason. So last night I was hurriedly trying to uh, figure out a way to make uh, make this thing work and I had to use my, another computer. I had to switch all my images over and it was a little panic city last night trying to get this uh, going. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, 
And I'll just leave it at that. There's a little bit too much blue in there. I'll take maybe a little bit of that out with my dryer brush, put a couple of clouds or something up in there. And uh, just lighten it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be really bright. It's going to lighten up quite a bit anyway. Um, and uh, so I'll leave it at that. I'm going to put a uh, sort of a, um, I don't know, a, a grayish color here, very, very light gray uh, on this area over here that's wet. I just want to put some tone over there. It's not a, uh, not a big area, or it is a big area, but I don't want to have a lot of stuff for you to look at over here. I'm just going to kind of put this a little bit of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of brown in it. Uh, that indicate some of the other colors that are in this, this building, this architecture. Uh, right here, like this. And uh, bring it on down. Don't want to confuse it with the sky. It's not the sky, it's really a building. And uh, so I'm going to put just a few of these colors in to tone it down a little bit so that it's not. Uh, Not so obvious. I don't want you to spend a lot of time looking over here. So I'm going to keep it light. And I'm going to come back and put some bushes and things over this. Um, I think I can go all the way down here. I probably got to go all the way down. The same building goes all the way down to this little. Uh, Looks like a fence in the, in the photograph, in the uh, sketch, but it's uh, not. It's really just a uh, it's a wrought iron type of thing here that's got uh, some curvature on top. I'll try to leave a few of those marks in there. That's good enough. Um, if that lightens up too much, I might, I might touch it again. I don't know. Um, I'm going to come back now and put some uh, the background. Uh, foliage in here. This will be done uh, pretty much wet on dry. Uh, using my hooker's green, using my uh, permanent uh, violet and some blue and just getting a darker color that's going to go back here. Make this top of this mountain range back here. That's uh, kind of blends with the sky a little bit. Um, so let's see if we can get a little change of color in there, change the tone. Like that, maybe put a few other colors in there, pick up a few browns maybe. And uh, just bring it down here and make it uh, look like a lot of it's really green foliage, I guess, and some trees, and there's even some houses maybe back here, and some other structures. But I'm not going to paint any of that in. That's too, be too distracting. I want to keep it. Uh, <clears throat> try to keep the focus down here in the uh, more in the center of interest, and not have to. Uh, just want to paint around these things that are back here. Part of this is going to remain sort of light. Okay, that. And as we come forward, I'm going to make this next little layer a little bit darker. Pick up some of the same greens, some of the same blues, but I'm going to uh, make it just a little darker. I can. And change the color a little bit. A little more blue. It's not darker though. Let's see if I can get a little darker here. There's some dark. Leave a few of blank areas back there that look like there's some maybe some white structures or something back there.
Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's come back and put a little bit of uh, another color here. Get some uh, different colors in this next layer down here if I can. like this, just sort of outlining the perimeter of this area, and uh, something like that, and we'll just use a little bit of the blending brush here to uh, blend in this area, I'm gonna, there's a, I actually have a I believe they have a tree growing up here on top of this building, so I'm going to put that in. So I want the, the uh, paint to be lighter beneath it, and uh, so I can maybe make it show up. Okay, so that's good enough, I think. Um, maybe I'll pull a little bit of this darker color up in here somewhere, uh, just to give a little more texture to that background. It looks kind of kind of bland, but that's I don't want it to again be. So interesting that you spend a lot of time looking at it back there. Try to control the eye, control the eye. Okay, good enough, good enough. All right, <clears throat> what's next? Um, this building, I just realized there is some blue sky up there behind this building at the very top up here, not much. I'll lighten it up a little bit and just add a very white wash back in here. I think it's probably somewhere follows this. some of those other structures in there. All right. That's good enough. All right, now let's see. So this building here is all pretty much white, off-white. It's got some brick and stuff in here that looks like it's uh, crumbling paint, but there's a fence. There's a fence that goes. You got this fence, and then there's a, another fence up here that goes up this way. And then there's a like a trellis or something over this little uh, top. So let's just kind of work our way down. I don't know if there's anything else I can put some color on while I've got these colors in my palette here. Uh, no, I'm not going not gonna to put any of that color in yet. I'm going to just leave that go for now and we'll just start working our way down down this, <coughs> this big building. So we'll go from back to front, top to bottom. That's the way I usually like to paint and uh, because this is so complicated, I'm going to be probably using some smaller brushes in some areas and uh, pick up my uh, half inch flat right now and uh, see if I can get some color on. Where is this? Okay, this is this here. This is so detailed, that's why I have to really kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, a lot closer than I would otherwise, maybe. Um, got a little, some sort of a structure here, a piece of wood of some kind. Right there, comes down to there. We've got, I think I've got some more of this uh, color I had over here, down here on this. It's down here, let's see. Yeah, this is it. Make it just a little bit 
lighter. This side out here is really white, off-white, um, so it's going to be almost no color on it right in here. Got my fence up there. This is going to be just part of the building with uh, I'm just going to paint it down because anything I put over it's going to be darker. This down to there, over to here. There's a window, There's a structure there. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Although I'm gonna make that just a little bit darker because it's it's on the same side, away from the sun slightly. Okay. This here is bit of a roof type structure that comes down here like this. Um, there's another beam of some sort that goes across here. Let's see if I can make that work. Um, here like this. It's like a little trellis of some kind or something up there. They put the okay. Bit of That up here, they've actually got another little fence up here that I tap in with my brush. This actually comes out further. All right, I'll bring it down here. Angle's probably off a little bit, but uh, it's all right. Uh, this part of the building over here is also off-white. Uh, let me give it a little bit of a tone over here. A grayish color, a little bit of warm in it in some spots. <coughs> It's going to be that. Light here, I've got to paint around. Just light stuff here, really keep it light. And here's to the, this is all darker stuff here, so I'm going to go ahead and paint over it and uh, let it uh,
little light, light brushing. This thing over here is going to be something similar to this color. I'm going to try to keep these colors somewhat consistent by showing you the But I don't know why. Okay, we got shadows, we got some darker shadow over this particular. I don't know why it has to be that dark. Well, it is darker looking at the photograph. Good thing the, the uh, looking from the black and white uh, sketch, it's hard to tell where she put some shading, but uh, you don't know how dark it or what, what color it really is. So these are uh, the good photos here show what uh, what's going on down here. A bit darker maybe than that even. Number in there maybe, let's see. Darken it down just a little too much. Okay, down here, I'm gonna put this. Um, there. All this stuff is facing the other way so it has a uh, definite lighter color, lighter than that. stuff in this photograph that you have to like just take out. You can't just put it in. Um, you have to be very selective. This has to have more orange in it. Uh, maybe we got some orange in some of this. Up here underneath. Take those, add a little darker mist to it, and pull it down just a little. A shadow here. Shadow over here. I don't know what that is supposed to be above that. I'm going to see if I can make it darker here. Scuff it up a little bit. Make it look like there's some texture, some stuff on here that's uh, so maybe some bricks been painted over. I don't know. We're doing this, okay? Not sure what we see through that fencing. We see the see more of this building through this fencing up here. See if I can put a bit more of that behind it. Yeah, let's put a little bit of a orange. I don't see that necessarily in the photograph. I think it adds that color up there. Uh, down here, what I leave that open for? That's for a 
stop painting in certain areas and I have to go back and try to remember why did I paint that? There's a awning or something over here, over there, on the show. All right, all right, this is okay. A little more darker in there just to let it look dirty. All right, um, we're done. And I'm letting this dry, so I'm getting a nice covering there that I can uh, come back and uh, paint more blue up here. I think I need. Yeah. All right. What's behind this thing? I guess this is going to be over here. It's got a dark roof on it, doesn't it? Over here. I'm going to put just a little bit more of this gray color back in behind this guy here. And let's put a little glaze of this one here. Okay, cover that up. A bit of dark down here. some rough texture if I can get it. Just putting a few more um, makes it look like rough plaster or something on this building here. Dry brush. Very dry brush. So That's pretty good. Over here, I want something similar with this front for now that it's drier. Using this uh, 300 pound cold press paper, I get that texture and I can make that look kind of bumpy, which is what I want to do. Okay, so here we got laundry hanging on the line, we got some background. Um, over here I got another front to this building which looks to be even more pinkish than the ones I've already got on there. This one here. See there's a little roof hanging over in a shadow. So let's make it a little more orangey-ish. I don't know. It got gray on me, didn't it? <clears throat> these windows are going to be darkened in. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. This is a big green door down here which I actually paint right over it because I'm going to put a green over it. The front is white underneath there. so Okay. If you make any questions, please uh, put them in the chat window and I'll see if I can answer them. I'll let that dry out a little bit. Now these other ones over here are starting to get a little bit more... Uh, what color is that? I don't know. It's a, a yucky yellow. Maybe it's a little bit of my... Mix these two colors together and see if I can get a color that looks something like it should belong over here. Needs to be lighter than that. Come down the roof of this car. Something like that. So far, I've done a lot of this painting with this half-inch flat brush. Another set of 
trees. This uh, right here is a little wall that comes down. Turn this back to something a little more gray, maybe a little more off white. Nope. Off white. Yeah, just a little of my uh, paint's gray to sort of gray it down a little bit, get change the tone in there. Yeah, grab that. While it's wet, just pull it down. As this comes forward, it's uh, got a little more, to, more tone in it. It's a little more in the shadow, I think. The sun's probably hitting over here, and this is going to be a little more in shadow. So I'm going to darken it down, and uh, let me put a not very dark. When we dark it, we add compliments, or we add a little bit of Payne's gray. Just. color or something here that kind of comes down. A bit of a little bluish color in there, maybe a little bit of violet. Where's my violet? There's my violet. Okay, there's going to be a flower over that. Okay, let's see. This is white over here. It has a uh, dark shadow above it. It's got uh, where'd I go? We're here. Darker, darker, darker. And yeah, this is gonna be all white. Pretty much all white. Almost no tone in it at all. Uh, areas up here, these roof areas are going to have to be add a little bit of tone to them to make darken them down a little bit. Make sure we know this is a roof. Usually these roofs have some sort of a color like a tile, sort of a tile type look to them. And there's usually some Stuff that runs down and runs up. Yes, maybe pull a little more of this down here. Might be a little too dark, but that's all right. We'll fix it. Still using the flat side of this brush to just put in some texture in these buildings. This is uh, supposed to be all white there. Over here I might add a little more texture in some of this. And over here. All right, got a lot of interesting shapes there. I've got some areas I can go back and put uh, more texture in and then put all this all this little detail that covers all of this. The uh, windows and the doors and all that sort of stuff is going to go in here. It's sort of a roof type structure that sticks out here. That comes down here. All right, um, I think that's going to be enough. A few things up. All right, so I'll let that dry off a little bit now. I think i got a white spot over here. It's got too much light in it. So I'll tone that down a little bit. Maybe you can tone that down. All right, we're getting uh, a lot of background color here. Over here, we've got some more just off-white. A little bit of pinkish color in it of, of sorts. Uh, we do have a, a lot of white laundry here that I want to try to preserve. 
some of that. But below it we've got building for background. And we've got flowers for the foreground. Put that in here, throw it in there like that. This door is really back. It's uh, actually going back this way. That. A few just very light tone there. Okay, I don't know if you start to see the, the change. This needs to be probably closer to that value. Need to darken it down just a little. I can. And the color to do it with just another coat will probably do it. Got this fence back there. Put that in. These are clothes hanging on line and some uh, there's a big um, bush or something. Uh, I know it's growing there. Over here this is more bluish white back in here. Doesn't have much blue in it. A little more blue. And as it goes down it just turns more white. So I'm just going to take this brush, clear water and pull it down and put a glaze there. Darken the top just a little more. Here, let's see, this is closed. We've got, got more of the same white building here, up here, like this. And back into these. Alright, so these are clothes hanging on a line. I got some bushes in there. Uh, a little bit of this tone behind that there. A little bit, bring it down here. Alright talking to myself. I hope I'm not driving you crazy. Oh, Jorge, is that how you pronounce your name? Chacon. Welcome. From Mexico. All right, let's see. Now this area here is more flat. It's a uh, sort of a sidewalk type of thing here that needs to have some brush strokes to tell you what's going on there. Otherwise, you're going to think it's part of the building, and it's not. So let's just put a little bit of that in here, like this. And uh, as I, if I make these brush strokes horizontal, you will understand this is some sort of walkway that's maybe not part of the walk, not part of the uh, road, maybe. But those, those brush strokes will tell you this is could be part of the road, it could be a part of a walk, but uh, this will start laying the groundwork for that. Okay. All right, so it looks like I got a plane going here, I got things going up here, I got them coming this way. Um, this probably needs to be darker here. Remember my talk about the change plane accent? If this is I take that back. Yeah, okay, okay. This is supposedly facing the sun more than this, so this all should be darker. Um, so I want to do something about that while I've got my some of my colors in here that I can darken it down with my blues and my uh, oranges and all of that. So let's see what I can do here. It needs to be a little darker than that probably. Some blue. If I hook my blue and my Probably too dark, but it's going to lighten up. So put in some colors, change the color, add some tones, add some colors, oranges and reds and that sort of stuff. I'll just do that, and then I'll come in with my bristle brush with some water in it, damp, and we're just going to blend all this stuff together. 
while it's wet, I can just do this and it'll all run together. By just having a bit of water in my brush, picks up those colors. And, it made, and now it's made it almost the same value as this. So I'm probably going to want to come back in there a little bit later and hit it again, maybe to make it even darker. I don't know. But right now I'm going to let that dry and see what it turns out to be. Keep these colors in my palette because I'm going to need these reds and oranges and stuff anyway. Um, but it's... Uh, now this, these, this fencing here is it's interesting. She did it. She made it kind of white in her sketch but um, on the actual photo it's a it's a light green it's this fencing all this is fencing in here um, and it has the color of this wall behind it so I'm going to probably pull this down now that I've got my brush going here put down I'll put make those darker a lot of territory with these bristle brushes. Yeah, okay. All right. Leave that alone. Just mix some colors in there. Try to keep from getting mud. That's the idea. All right, I'm probably going to have to darken it down again, but I will wait. For a little bit, let that dry off to see how it's uh, how it's going to look. This up here is nice and dry. And I'll get my small brush. How are we doing? We've been going 40 minutes, so I'm going to keep going here for another 20, and then we'll take a short break and let me uh, <clears throat> rest my voice and uh, get a drink of water, and you can get a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or whatever it is for you this time of day. Up here. Oh, and Something there. We've got a uh, bit of a shadow there. Too much there. Here we at the top. These. Something like this. I actually have a, uh, <coughs> a tree growing out of here, sitting up here. Tree right up here. Getting a little detail now, probably more detail than I need, but I show this little interesting. Maybe some um, purple, if I just put a few. tree growing up there. Okay, what else we got to do here? I'm going to put in a few more marks. Like that. Coming down here, we've got another underhang for the roof. It's dark. And so it comes down a little bit and These are all shadows, and there's actually a roofing mechanism that sticks out here. Like this. Something like that. All right, down here, what do we got? We got not much of anything until we get right in here. We've got some, oh, let me see, what is it there? I have to look on the sketch to figure out what uh, what went in here. So it's 
this area right here. Not sure what it is. It might be a little bit of an arch type thing. And uh, just some shadows and stuff from this arch or whatever it is that's holding this. Uh, Got a building there. All right. And we got another fence coming out here. We got a few structural items holding up this thing back here, like that. So I'm on a number four brush now, so this is a pretty detailed brush. This thing is going to go like this. To this corner, we have a corner post there. And this is another one of these open uh, fence type things that's got this oh, this that it's kind of a bottom on it that sticks out and causes some of the shadow and then over here we got the same kind of thing, it's just these little curly cues that like that. There's a bottom on it. Alright, and we got this little roofing thing back here that defines something back here. Don't know what it is, don't really care. Make sure I've got this fence well defined back there. Okay, so much for that little piece. You see how many objects are in this? This is what's uh, really time consuming and uh, and makes it uh, harder to paint and longer to paint. Got a couple of little arches here. That oh, these are that, and we're going to have a little bit of a shadow in those things because the sun is coming in here. So I want to put just a little bit of a shadow like that in each of these. All right, they look a little more three-dimensional. Similar thing over here, we got a couple of things coming down that are this. That, oh, a roof, another roof, bottom of this roof. I'm just kind of drawing in all the architecture over here that I see. Um, I'll make it a little bit interesting if I can. Take out some of these blobs of white. <clears throat> Anything on this? So we have another little fence back here. It goes from here. Goes from here like this to here. And it goes back like that. And these are all the same kind of little like that. And the bottom on it. Something like that, with a darker corner here. There. All right. I think it looks like it goes back, maybe. Make it taper a little more, and it will look like that. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. More dark over here. Just. These buildings are all moldy and dusty and dirty and 
have collected a lot of dirt over the years. So, okay, how are we doing? 55. Well, I've got just about an hour in this thing, and uh, we're at least halfway done. At least I think so. See, let's maybe work on this for five minutes and see if we can get some of these these big um, these are gray as well with a little bit of blue in them and um, Got this thing that holds this light up out here. There's a, a lamp, lantern or a lamp, light lamp. Um, and something like that. Got a shadow under it like this. Down there here. Okay, there's one arch. We got another one that joins this light right here and comes around the same way. I mean it goes way down here. It's this and it has a shadow like this how far down does he go he's going pretty far all right so this one would actually come down below this lamp something like this and below the lamp we start running into things that hold this Brace this uh, rod up. That's what holds this lamp up. The lamp has, let me get a few more big colors in here. Put a few. This. That. Something like that, and there's a little brace here like that. There's a like something that goes in. This is all stuff that can be in shadow because it's holding this light up. Okay, now this other arch does come down on the other side of this lamp, like right about in here. So it hits somewhere there's a line that goes like this. And and then there's this plant and then there's a bunch of clothes. Alright, so I think that's got this thing pretty well finished. darker at the top on some of these all right um, we did have a some sort of a thing that comes up here out of the I don't know if that's gonna be done I'm gonna leave that out until I, I may have to make that darker so I don't want to put any of these electrical wires or whatever they are over that 
If you may get any questions, just uh, shout them out over the uh, chat window there, and I'll see if I can uh, answer them for you. What else we got? We got another down here. We got this little arch that needs some shadow. Got some more shadow in this area because this is the back in the uh, doorway, if you will. There's a couple of windows or things that go in here and things in between there. Okay. Close, close, plant. Close, close. Okay. Just putting in some detailing now and some of this stuff to kind of amp it up a little bit so that it has a little more oomph. All right. There are some little flowers and flower boxes and stuff sitting around. I may come back and if I don't forget it, I'll come back and It's a little after two right now. My clock shows we've been running for 53 minutes. So uh, if you're wanting to keep on and don't need a coffee break yet, I will keep going for another few minutes and see if we can uh, get a little more of this done here. Um, up here, this is an area where there's another tree sitting in here, like a flower box of some kind, <laughs> and uh, a tree the other side of it. I guess they like to plant trees in the uh, in these little uh, garden areas at the top of their roofs. Start of my tree over there. Come back and get me a round brush. Some color that looks like it might make a tree. Tree branches, tree bushes, or tree leaves, I want to say. Right in here. See if this is going to be dark enough. And yeah, let's put some yellow in there. Let's brighten that thing up. It's too. Put some lemon yellow in there. Put it out here so it can show up over this dark background. There we go. Something like that. And then come back and put this darker underneath it. Get some darker hair. Come on. There he is. Well, spot in some darker things and give it some dimension. Maybe hard for you to see, um, but when you watch the video, you'll be able to see that there's more stuff going on. We've got some interesting little bushing things here that kind of are growing, and uh, throw a few of those in the area. Or yellow, like this, like that, and uh, while we're doing it, let's just throw some 
red or magenta flowers in there. Get my pure paint right off the palette and just kind of when I stick them on top of this green though, you know what's going to happen. They're going to turn gray, right? If I don't have enough paint on my brush to make them stand out, they're going to turn gray. So I'm going to find the white areas and see if I can get a few of those there like this. All right. Maybe a little hard to see also, but that's good enough. All right. I've got this tree that's showing up a little lighter than the background behind it. I've got these little red things here that are uh, look like be flowers sitting in a pot or something here at the top of this roof line. And I'm giving it some shadow and some color tone in here to warm it up a little bit over here. Okay, let's pull this down. Top of the car, okay. Let that set for a little bit and uh, go back and work on these areas. All right, I count myself at about two hours or one hour gone by. So if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, take a 10 minute break. Go get me some water. You can get some coffee. I'll put a sign on here that says we're taking a 10 minute break. Too. Um, I think we're ready to finish this up. Um, been looking at it while I've had the break and just trying to see where we can make some some improvements. I think it's pretty well set here. I noticed this. Uh, there's another little doorway back here that I've missed putting in. So find my flat brush here and see if I can get a little bit of a color here for this. It's a, I don't know what kind of door it is. Doesn't really matter. Um, let's see here, we'll put it in. It's kind of like, it's got an angle. How's it going here? Um, it's all the way up here. And that's uh, too big a brush. I have a smaller one. I'm going to see if she was a round one. Uh, Yeah, I'll get some colors here that let me put in a something like this right here. Something going on there. I'm not sure exactly what that is supposed to be here, but um, like that like this. All right, um, down here we come down this. A little bit of a dark. Another. This is a change plane accent to make you realize this is darker back here. And we'll gradiate it. <clears throat> Pretty good. This is going to be lighter. This is going to be a bit darker, but it's going to have some flowers and stuff over it, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let's go in here. Get back and see if we can start some more of our Arches here. We got a couple arches right here. So let's get a nice point on the brush. Come in here and just put in a same idea here. Let's put in a there's a 
that's this little door that goes right here. There's actually a awning type of thing that comes out of here. And um, a little separator between these buildings. This has a similar type of thing going on. And I want to darken this down a little bit with some bit of a shadow. Here we've got some more windows that have this. Let's give a little bit of architecture to it. And uh, let's take a come on, give me some blue here. Just to give myself some clean palette space maybe it would help. pure color you gotta get some clear palette space. I'm gonna try to get a little bluish color that I can lay over here that's gonna be a little bit of a that same idea over here just put in a few marks and let them either be hard or soft but don't spend too much time on them. Down here we're going to have a little bit of a darker window of some sort in here. And, um, some texture colors here to uh, I don't know what this all is back here but I'm just gonna fill it in very lightly and let it go Something like this. Over here we've got another set of windows of some sort that goes on here. Again, this is not very important over here. Just put in a few defining lines and uh, let it go with that. I want to put a something that looks like there's some dirt coming up from the bottom there. Okay. Um, down here we've got the bottom of this, got some junk on it, just sort of these are light spots again. 
All right. I'll let that for a while. Right here. This area we've got some they're shutters of some kind, they look like they're gray. Um, let me see if I can change the color a little bit. This is a grayish color, a grayish green color that I've got here. And uh, in necessarily but I'm gonna make it so you can see there's a got this sort of a funny looking door. It's not really a door, it's a window of some sort that sort of is over a... That's good enough. For now, let's see, I'll just put a little bit of a tone in there. It's good, the door is actually here. We've got this big green door. Right here. Behind the green door. All right. Now we're getting into the final areas of this. We're going to put in a few more things that look like they're some sort of a banister or something going in here. Rocks along here. There's a a lot of debris and stuff along here on the ground. Shadow under these things. All right, that's a, probably more detail than we need. But let's leave it at that for now. If you do this one, you can 
you can do a better job by pulling up some of these side of the brush, just some a bit of wet paint, and uh, darken it in. Okay, so here that's that. Now we've got a bunch of these. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I want to do the? Maybe it's time to do my uh, laundry. <laughs> Let's do the laundry. Let me get some blues, off whites. Um, put in some. Looks like laundry, but maybe it's. some other colors here that maybe I've never painted laundry before so I don't know what it uh, it's supposed to look like so let's just leave some lights and darks in here this. We've got some more shirts and things hanging out here. Some gray color in there. Gray it down a little bit. And come back with some blue and mix it in. And what do we have to have above the laundry? You gotta have a clothesline. And that's kind of what this is right here. It goes all the way up here like this. Over like that. And got little pins on top. Some kind of pin to hold stuff up. for that. Let's leave that alone for now and see if I can fill in. This is going to be some more greenery over here. Oh, I guess I should have practiced painting laundry before I did this. These things look a little more real. If I put some more shadows in there, I don't know. Look like laundry? I don't know. All right, let's. Uh, gotta put some of these, these uh, flowers in. I'm gonna get myself some reds. This um, monacridone scarlet's a good color. Some oranges over here. Maybe some yellow, lemon yellow over here. And uh, get this green, get some kind of green going here with this yellow. And uh, make sure I've got enough light in there. And uh, this area here, we're just going to pop it in there. Let me see if I can dry this out a little bit. Got too much water in there. Pick up a few of my reds, maybe stick a few 
red splotches in here like this. Get some orange. Probably some more orange, little jaws, maybe some yellow. There we go. Let's get some pretty colors in there like this. Okay, that looks like a lot of color. Okay, so much for that. Come down here and we've got a whole whole bunch of green rose bush looks like rose bushes there and, and this whole area is here filled with it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can use my small brush and I'm going to pop in some of these whole bunch of these look like roses in here hopefully a lot of them put those in I'm going to let that dry for a while I'm going to come back and uh, put in some uh, green over that and hopefully fill that all out some more greenery coming in over here. Let's see if I can put a little bit more of that in. Top of this. Something like that. Might have some yellow tops on those. Let's put some The green helps it. The yellow makes it look a lot more like grass or something growing up there. Um, this area, this is all a bunch of rocks. And uh, there's a dividing line here. This, and then it goes up. There's an angle. So everything that's over here is like darker. Everything that's over here is lighter. So we'll help try to make that distinction if I can okay let's go work on some rocks get my flat brush here get a flat brush there we go all right, let's get in here and see if we can make some rocks. These things got all kind of interesting colors. There's oranges and there's browns and reds and all that sort of stuff in here. So let's put a few orange and brown colors here. It starts here, comes down. Let's see. Couple layers. It looks like they, this is sort of a they're stacked on top of each other. So we've got these little orange segments that sort of separate them, and uh, then we got a little bit of everything going on in here. sort of grayish. With a little bit of mortar in between them. And these as they go back they actually go up a little bit. And
that and that puts more orange under here. if I'm getting the uh, perspective right on that thing or not. It's got to be darker. We're going to have this edge has to be much darker than the front edge. And we're not going to make it look like it's going back. So I'm going to put that in and come back and put some rocks over it. And we still got these one over here they're lighter so if I do it right this section here on the right is going to look like it's more out of the light and it's certainly See if I can do some good with it. <clears throat> Just add some other colors in here to brighten it up a little bit. And then the front's going to be lighter all the way across here, all the way down. Light. these and we're going to put in a few more things here. We got some browns and stuff that goes across here. That's not very brown. Let's put in a few more dabs of color. So I'm trying to make that wall that's coming back toward us so I don't want to put too much of an angle on it. It is. It does have these things that sort of go this way, and there's a those white those brush strokes tell you the what's going on here. Hopefully, all right. This whole wall here is just all grayed out with. Uh, a lot of water. And um, yes, we got a little bit of a thing going like this. And there's another sort of a that then this is just darker a little bit darker okay so we're getting that I'm going to come back now and put some of this green chain back here that I now that I've got this dried off over here, left that set long enough to get it dry, I'm going to come in here and start popping in some 
nice greens hopefully. Get my yellow and my green and some water and some blue. Big brush, we're just going to kind of stab in these things. In and around the, the reds. Down here we got more going on down here. that don't leave too much white in there Shadows, a few little darker colors in there to show some things in the shade. Okay, so now we've got the walk coming down here. Got this thing that needs some some kind of attention in here. There's some boards or something across here that just sort of block this thing up. Got some shadow. Oh, these are there's more stones and stuff in here that uh, are sort of filling this out in this area. And there's like that. Put a few more colors in here. Let's get some of this. I don't know what that is. It looks like it's something that's just sort of been closed up used to have some something going on there I don't know what <clears throat> all right let's see if we can start closing this thing off We've got just a car a little bit more to do how long we've we going hour and 40 minutes which includes a 10 minute break so all right <clears throat> give myself some uh, brush for that. Some gray, put a little bit of a pink in it. Make it a little more violet maybe. It's too violet. Not too bad there. Some dark here. I'm gonna, I gotta do this up here again while it's still dry or while it's dry. Let's finish this off down here with some shadow. That. <clears throat> distinct and I'm doing that by putting in a heavier coat and using our bristle brush with some water in it not much because I got a lot of water right there um, it's gonna blend this edge so that it doesn't form a hard edge and uh, put a few more down here Color this in a little bit more. OK, 
Okay, we got some stuff here that looks halfway decent. Um, the car, let's see what we can do with this car. <coughs> I've got the uh, back of it just needs some sort of gray colors inside, I think. And uh, so I'm going to make this. this, break it off, put a little more, seat on this motorcycle right here. Like that. And then there's a piece of... And then we got a little darker shadow under it. This is sort of the side of this seat is sort of dark as well. Okay, and then this is clear. Then we got a bunch of these here. Um, let's see if I can do this without getting my hand in. yet. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to cover some of this car up so I don't splatter the car. But I want to do this. those things with the... I don't know if that's much better, but I like it better. Okay, I've got a few more 
some of these. Okay, get out there, folks. Something like this here, and a few more dirty things coming up from the road, like that. Just add some more of the perspective. I'm just going to put in a few. I could put in a few of the uh, uh, places between the boards there. And let's see here. Flat brush, green, green. Here we go. And here we're going to. Take some yellow, a lot of paint in the brush, and we're just going to come here and pop, 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 bam, bam, bam. So this is all stuff that throws up this motorcycle. And we're going to have to put some color in it, some tone, something to make it look more three-dimensional. So we do that by stabbing some more stuff in here like this and down here at the bottom where it touches the ground it should be darker calligraphy marks here and there and we'll see if we can finish this off. Make sure this is got some shadow in it because it's this part should be a little darker. Blend it in. One thing about shadows if you can run them into the ground into the objects there Making a shadow of it really helps. Here we should have some sort of tire that's under there that I don't have showing. And it should just sort of merge with the, the shadow. Okay, um, I think I'm going to just about call this quits here. I want to put a few maybe, uh, streaks that make it look like the road goes this way. I don't know if that helps or not. It doesn't go that way. It actually curves. More like that. Yeah. All right, just a few of those things. Um, a few more splatters here if I can get a few. And uh, a few of these verticals in here. Okay. 
Okay. I think I'm going to quit, folks. Glad you stuck with me today, and uh, hope you give this a try. I'm going to have, I don't have all the sketches and stuff out on my uh, website yet. I'm going to see how this is going to work, but uh, I think it uh, came about pretty well. Three o'clock, yeah, we're. Places I could put a few darks. I don't know. There's a this area up here, in the, and this light should be a little darker, probably. Put another little layer of glaze on this. Okay. more distinguishing marks here. I'm leaving out the, the wiring, all that stuff that goes up the wall here. Not too crazy about that. Maybe I'll put a couple of things across that kind of look like it might be something there, but I'm not going to define that too well. All right, I think maybe this area here is just a little bit too light. I'm going to pop in a of shadows in here like that this would need to be a little bit all right so we're gonna stop but I didn't stop <clears throat> all right let's put my name on it and it'll force me to stop maybe over here we'll go okay and uh, Few more things in here to sort of give this some more texture of life. It looked like one big green thing. <clears throat> Blot it just a little bit so it's not all the same color. All right, I think I'm going to stop on that and say uh, that's a uh, very long painting and it's taken me a good two hours to do it. Hope you like it. Hope you give it a, uh, give it a try. I'm going to put all the images out on my website uh, later today, and I'll have this uh, video edited and back out on uh, on uh, YouTube probably in a couple days. It's going to be a pretty good editing job. So uh, anyway, um, if you are interested in uh, in taking some Zoom classes, please uh, send me your email, and I will be glad to put you on my list. I'm setting up a few Zoom classes. If you're interested in getting uh, free paintings from a place called pmp-art.com, you get like get them like I got these. And uh, <clears throat> if you like this, share it and with your friends, and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, check out Antonio Romeo's music on antonioromo.com. Uh, played his music before we started and during our break. And uh, I think that's all. Check out my website and Facebook page, and uh, I'll have this on YouTube probably in two or three days. So. Thanks for joining me today. It's been a long, long day, and uh, hope you appreciate it, and uh, give this a try. So until I see you again, this is Larry Hampton saying so long for now. Bye-bye.